first part, A minor 7. Now, th what's going to happen is, hopefully, we'll be able to cover all these notes. And it's chord melody, right? And it means, it means we have... Minor seven, A C E G is in those notes. Okay, it actually goes A E G C, just the way the guitar's made. Okay, and then we go to this chord here called, and you'll see that chord a lot, a lot. Okay, that is a diminished seven chord on the. Top strings. When I say top, I don't mean I mean thinner. Okay, higher sounding notes. This is a G sharp diminished seven. Okay, it's a bunch of stacked minor thirds. Okay, now so we've done this so far. We've actually only hit two notes. What we did this. Okay, say oh, well, it's going to take a while. Well, that's why I divided it up in a couple sessions. Okay, you're doing this part. Okay. Okay. Okay, so you can go like this. Or you can go like this. Which I don't really like that at all times. Now if uh your pianist for instance is just twinkling on the high notes and everything, that'll sound good if you put all these notes in there. Just saying, wait, wait, wait a minute. I had to remember how it worked. <laughs> now that's going up. Normally it doesn't. Normally it doesn't. Okay. It normally doesn't go up like that. But A minor 7. G sharp diminished. A minor 7 again. And then this chord right here. E diminished 7. You can keep on running into that. So all we did here was. You know you can go different places. That sounds like it. It's an F. And that that F is part of the D minor 7 chord. So we went here. We went. This all really makes total sense. Okay? I've been playing a guitar since about 67, piano somewhere around the same time. And I play five string banjo and different things, so a lot of things fascinate me about different instruments. I have tried wind instruments, but that is not my forte. the sound okay a minor seven G sharp now what's happened really the bass player could be playing and you could be only hitting the high notes or something like that uh, the bass player could be playing these notes listen listen what's happening look at that note that note is an A let's prove that okay 
okay? A minor 7, and then B, uh, G, excuse me, G sharp diminished. Now see this note right here? That's what's going down. This is called drop 2. Don't ask me to explain it. It's a difficult concept. Okay? See that note? It's coming down. And on the A minor 7, and I accidentally hit the A, but that's fine. Because it works. Okay. And then this chord here is called the get that really, really, that's a diminished chord. And it's a diminished 7. Format, uh, format is a diminished 7. So, having said that, we could show that that's a bunch of stacked minor thirds, but it's not important. Uh, this is an E, so you would have E, G, B flat, D flat. Eh, let's just do it. E, um, B flat, uh, let's see here. That would be, um, I can't think sometime, D flat, and um, this would be a... Um, Mind is blank, but I just do it that way. That's a G. Okay. You get blank a little bit. Okay. And that is a diminished chord. I think we went over that before, but it's a bunch of stack minor thirds again. I'm really interested in this note. That's my melody note. And then, kind of one of the things that guides me. I hadn't realized it until just now. I like to have a lot of difference in the sound before I go from there to there. Instead of, I, I have a lot of things going on. Because I have the bass going down. Okay? And that's the D minor 7. This is still a D minor 7. Because D minor 7, D, F, A, C. Wait a minute. I had to remember how it worked. <laughs> now that's going up. Normally it doesn't. 